आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास अवर ट्वेल्थ क्लास बिजनेस स्टडीज इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू पार्ट वन इज रिलेटेड टू प्रिंसिपल्स एंड फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड पार्ट टू इज रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंस एंड मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट अवर पार्ट वन इंक्लूड्स एट चैप्टर्स विद फिफ्टी मार्क्स एंड पार्ट टू इंक्लूड्स फोर चैप्टर्स विद थर्टी मार्क्स रेस्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी मार्क्स आर बींग अलॉटेड टू द प्रोजेक्ट वर्क विच विल बी डिस्कस लेटर ऑन बट फोर टॉपिक्स आर गिवन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट वर्क अमंग दीज फोर टॉपिक्स यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर प्रोजेक्ट ऑन वन टॉपिक Let us start our first lecture with first chapter of part one, that is nature and significance of management. Management. This is the word being used in our daily life many of times by everyone. But you know what is management, students. that management can be used by different people in different sense some people use the management in relation to any concern some times the same people use the management in concern with few people sometime it is being used as an activity so what is the management let us see management is a process of getting done getting things done with the aim of achieving objectives in effective and efficient way here you are able to see i have stressed on three words the word one is process second word is effective and third word is efficient what is process process means a detailed activity like if i say management is a process means it is that activity which is to be done in details means lots of activities are to be performed one by one first planning second organizing third staffing fourth directing and fifth controlling which are basically the functions of management also planning if i say that means thinking in advance organizing is whatever is being thought by me arrange the sources to implement that planning sources may be physical as well as human resources if i go to the third step that is staffing after arranging or thinking that from where the different sources will be arranged Sta- in staffing function a person managing its activity has to arrange for the human resources when all these resources are being arranged these sources are being put into the action which becomes the directing and last one function is controlling function controlling function says that whatever is being planned and whatever is being done let us have a comparative look on this activity or this topic suppose i have to complete a task in at the end of the day so at the end of the day i would like to compare what is what was being planned and what is being executed so this management is an activity in the way that if someone is managing 
that first he has to plan the things he has to organize the things as well as staff direct and control the things so management can be described as an process means a series of activities which are to be put into the action second word is being stressed here that is effective no effective means completion of task in time suppose i have to do or i have to stitch 500 shirts within a week or within a month let us suppose i have to stitch 500 shirts in five uh, in one month and at the end of one month i was able to stitch just only 400 shirts so that means i'm not effective i have not completed my task in time so effectiveness in management is related to completion of task in time the next one is efficiency now the task is to be completed and cost is to be cost is also to be taken care of i can't say that i have to complete a task in one month i would uh, uh, like to have additional resources and complete the task in given time if i would employ additional resources naturally these would add to my cost if the cost is being increased that means i'm not efficient in doing the task so efficiency is concerned with completing the task with minimum cost so management in this way we can say management is a process of achieving goals in effective and efficient way thank you